If you have cough, wheeze, shortness of breath, or chest tightness during or after exercise, you, it may not be that you're out of shape. You may have exercise-induced asthma. This is when the airways that bring air into and out of the lungs become narrow due to exercise, and this leads to the symptoms of asthma. We feel that this is due to heat and water loss from the lungs during exercise, and this is why symptoms are worse in cold, dry air. Problems with exercise in a patient with asthma often indicates the asthma is not in good control. In those cases, we have to increase therapy. Other patients uh, that are at risk of developing exercise-induced asthma include those with hay fever or allergies in general. We want everybody to be able to exercise if they have asthma. It is recognized that aerobic activities such as running, brisk walking, playing hockey, or playing basketball or even football can be more problematic than start-stop activities such as weightlifting, playing golf, or playing tennis, depending on, of course, on who you're playing. Now, 85% of the time, exercise-induced asthma can be prevented by use of a simple bronchodilator before exercise. So, if you have asthma or exercise-induced asthma, you can do activities, including intense workouts, including in cold weather, with proper treatment, so that asthma will not slow you down.